Time. Greetings. So I've got the snare wolf out. War snares on? Snare faces? Yeah, snare faces. Delicious. There we go. I'll let the uh, preview window set for a bit, but. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hope everyone is well. Show me your snare face. Ooh, what can I claim my claim my copy of what? I have no idea what that is. Occasionally people send me interesting things actually. Actually that's not fair, there's a lot of interesting things I get emailed, but there's things that I should say that are related to uh, things I wanna muck around with. <laughs> Figgy, if you haven't already, mate, um, log on to Warframe, there's loads of, like, free swag. Like, a Warframe slot and some other stuff. Shift F3 is the do not disturb, mate, really? Does that work? Do not disturb? Oh, fucking nice! Does that mean we're not gonna get any bullshit now? Whee! Nice. Warframe slot. Very fine. No more ding dong. What well, time did agreed? Is the kettle done yet? Oh, I even started the kettle earlier today. Well, a little bit earlier anyway. Go eat. Right, while I wait for the kettle, I will continue standing up, actually, to stretch my legs. Oh, I sat down way too long today. <laughs> Goddamn work. Lewd. You're drowning in Platinum Warframe. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Like, I very rarely get the 75%. Like, I haven't had a 75% discount in, like, two years, maybe? Maybe three years? I don't know. And you're, like, getting them, like, every other day. Like, what do I do with all these discounts, baby? Thank you very much, Larissa, Bolly. Oh, you need to buy some of those mods, man. You got so much platinum now. Get like get some of those really nice mods, like the dual, the dual, the dual mods, or get yourself a really nice uh, arcane or something. Get like that rank five arcane malt. That's really burly. That's, like changes up quite a few frames actually. Hey, mods. Of all the games I start early, does it for Alan Wake? I mean, I started to stream late yesterday, that's more than, more than sort of, uh, you know, why we've done that. What are my thoughts of the Lesson Stella short dialogue preview for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2? What, you mean the, like, the Fallout 4 lines? It doesn't fill me full of super confidence, but... It could be they're just truncated lines. I'd much rather you say exactly what you're gonna say. I'm assuming maybe the main character's voice acted. I didn't actually check. I I've seen the picture. I haven't seen the video. There is character creation. There is character creation. You're one. You're you're a character. I suppose just like you were the fledgling. In this case, you are Pyre, Fire, Pier. I'm not quite sure. But there is cat. There is some um, character creation. I've seen some artwork that shows like different hairstyles and different uh, looks and stuff. Yeah, there's different clans as well from what they've said, yeah. I've seen different haircuts. I've seen like a fro, I've seen like a longer hair, I've seen um the short hair version. Like on the on the um uh on the thing. On the picture. It was concept art, mind you, not the in-game stuff, but that's what I uh I've got I've got faith. I don't know. Like from what the lead what one of the leads has been saying about vampires is is pretty good. Like, so I, I do have, a, I actually have some pretty decent faith in that. 
simply based off their thoughts. Like, the idea of being an elder is really interesting. I actually think that's a quite a cool take. That's not, not what I was expecting at all. I was really not super keen on the whole Thin Blood thing they were going with for the original take of Bloodlines 2. But an elder is actually kind of an interesting idea because that gives you the... Um, hey, Jess. That gives you the... Um, like, the reasoning behind your power gain and power strength. Um... While also, you know, keeping uh, while al allowing a game to let you st throw cars at people like reasonably sensibly, you know, while also having a narrative reason for it. Like the fledgling worked fine. Like they were they were eighth gen as well. Like you know, so they, while they weren't an elder, they were they were pretty fucking meaty, and that gave you that sort of ex explanation of why they were so strong. And again, that was quite fun too. Like honestly, these games, especially stuff like the the RPG um, immersive sim ones, should be a power trip, right? It should be you get to be a fucking disgustingly strong vampire. And part of the power trip, uh, I find, is the starting at the bottom and going up. You call it the shonen jump, like, uh, uh, like tropes as well. You know, like, the one that, you know, you, you start low power, but then you're number one at the end. Like, I, I always find that quite fun. Unless a wolf shows up. Well, you know, there's a time and a place. There's a time and a place. Right, I'm just going to finish off the tea and I'll be back in a tick. I didn't get it on the titty mouse map, so it's fine. Lucy's boobs from uh, Cyberpunk will remain unteed. Right. Shall we? Should we wake? Alan should we Alan Lee wake? Hello everyone, welcome in. I was gonna say I've got I've got a Rebecca coaster at work, but I can't really say what what because it might be deemed as something a bit you know thingy, but it's quite funny. Hey Mickey, you ready? Right, <laughs> this should be exactly where we left it in theory. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Oh, sorry. I can hear you. I think this might Cauldron be the Lake. the very last Stop. bits. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Yeah, we, we saw this bit, I think. I think we're probably where five minutes you? behind where we were. I will escape. In danger. The dark presence. Do you know what my real fetish is? These games that don't let you just fucking save it exactly where you are. That's Thanks. my real fetish. Got it. Ooh. Should I skip this cutscene or let it play out again so we can have a bit of a reminder of what happened? Hey! Let it play out? Yeah, alright. How cruel. Ooh. Are you okay? No! It's Alan! My fault. Alan! Who? <laughs> My face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's chased the storm. Alan. Alan! Dark presence! You're playing Mech Warrior 5? Very it. fine. Before... Easy Is it good? Now. First things first. Don't What's you helix name? me. My name... Is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I... I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing you came from a really years. shitty remaster. 
delicious 480p. The nice thing about the 480p stuff is that because of the time, the, the bitrate kind of matched 480p in a way. Oops. Which meant it wasn't quite as terrible looking in a way, in a weird way. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. Am I low health? You to our car. I must be, I guess? Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. That's quite funny. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... I've been enjoying this, if it wasn't. Is this a dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. Max Payne, very sad about this. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Right, I've got to have a look around here, haven't I? How do I heal again? Around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. Right, it's in my inventory, isn't it? If I wanted to heal. Oops. To the overlap. I wanted to heal. Tonight in Gale. Control? Seems a bit silly to heal for that, but... you think I'd heal naturally in the light. But I guess I'll just use that. There we go. I would never... I've never even seen Season 2 Helix Sun. Don't you put that on me. So which bits have been okay. unflooded? Over here, I guess, as well? Take your time. <laughs> Season 3 of Helix. Could you imagine such a, a cruel... Th what the heck? What is that? Oh, it's a pig! It's a dead pig, eh? A lion? Oh, my mistake. Easy enough to do. Can't see much else here at the moment. I guess we'll just continue this way. Good old cryostasis. Said no one ever. Funny enough, the Swindon Hospital is actually really nice. No son, BG. Ah. A creepy twig sculpture? It's more culty stuff. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks Remember, like they the look like us, but they aren't. They're like the animals. Doesn't see their victims as people. It's our job to hunt them and gun. Oh, nice, some swag, though. Yoink. Oh, and I got another inventory row. That's good. So, I can't get Crysis as working properly anymore. Fucking pain in the ass. I don't see anything else I should investigate at the moment. I guess we continue. This is no longer... I guess I'll just carry on. Seems alright. My PC sounds like a jet plane playing this. It runs really nicely though. Oh, we're back at the tree. I guess we're on the other side of the tree, aren't we, for this area? Ooh, what's this? Nice. 
I wonder if you can use Stileth to get around enemies in this game. To avoid using all your resources. You can quick turn. Oh yeah. Handy. That makes me somewhat suspicious though. Oh my god, it's some sort of fucking giraffe or something. Oh. Is this a devil one? No, it's a real one. Do you reckon I can skin him? What kind of mega bastard wolf is this? Look how many shots he's taken. What a champ. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Can I loot him? Scan. Oh, was it a monkey? Oh, I'm sorry. I must claim the tallow, hand it in, and get me fucking 50 orans. Ooh, look. Oh no, is that lamb lady again? Oh, fuck. The, the stream side cash key? I wonder where I can use that then. Lump. The cult stash at the stream in Cauldron Lake. Interesting. Please no kill puppy. I didn't want to kill puppy, but it's mad. It, it got big mad. Have we been this way already? I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Streamside. Cauldron Lake. So this is what we're looking for. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? One bird for light, Reminds two for darkness, three Mirai birds for a flight. Logan when she was little. One for a girl, two for a boy, three for... <laughs> fucking ravens. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing, son. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> Four for a struggle, five birds for an injury, six for a misery, seven for the ending, whatever that may be. I can use something on it. I guess I can I can put like dead birds here maybe. A little clothespin doll. A crow doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. That's not a souvenir, Saga, that's probably evidence, dude. Maybe I can use a little crow doll on these. Let's find out. Think Saga. I mean, I assume I don't need that many crow dolls, but I can just. Something feels different. I should look around. I mean, it's a burb. Um. <laughs> what a dickhead. Headshot. A charm. Cute. 
It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Charms of various benefit. Equip them and put them in the charm slots. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Interesting. So shall I take this with me then? We still gotta find the stash that's over here, right? Yeah, she's Svensk. I think she does she have like a granddad or grandmother was Svensk. I think she said. Aha. Oh no, maybe not. That's the overlap. That's the flooded area. So we can actually get back down to that flooded area in theory and look around here. The witch finder station on the stream side. Private cabin. I don't think we've been up to the witch finder station yet, have we? Another bot padlocked one. I'm assuming we'll come back here time and time again anyway, so. Oh, with that puzzle, maybe that's what it is. Like, as we find more crow dolls as we go around the game, maybe we can. Is there a. Turn the lights on here, maybe. It says enter, but I use spacebar like a fucking champ. I am being told what to do. Any other swag in there? What's this? Guess, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty, came down from New York City and loved every minute of the trip. Laurie and Balb, these paths have seen better days. Kev says, nice views you got here. Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest you adding some nice rest stops along the way? That's the do's and don'ts again. Okay. Uh -huh. Another one of those rhymes. A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to, f uh, to feast. But only a hero of Braveheart can keep the two apart. I mean, do I need more crow dolls, I wonder? I'm assuming I might do. Saga means fairy tale. Very on the nose for Alan Wake protag. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That could be our nest, is the house. But, yeah, we haven't got any. So now I got enough, I'm just gonna check every single one to what happens. Alright, I guess we come back here when we've got more dolls, potentially. Alright, uh, I guess we go to the Witchfinder station, maybe, have a quick look. It's kinda nice the game lets us have a look around, really. We can just, uh, don't have to immediately move on. That was actually one of my sort of complaints about Alan Wake 1, really. It's just the way it works. It was a bit rubbish. Is there lights on in there or something? A manuscript page. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. I assume it's the latest one. Reality but... in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story. I always hate that stuff, dude. To reach out through the weakened veil. 
A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to have a little mark if you give that like new a bad one, dream, or? remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Alright. I always forget the game doesn't pause there, so you have to be a little bit careful when you watch and listen to those. There's a rhyme over here. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Is this threatening our kid? I feel this is indirectly indirectly forget, uh, threatening our kid. Password. Zero, 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 zero. A shot. I was gonna thought it was gonna be an Alan Wake book on the man on the mantelpiece, and I was like, nah, no one actually reads Alan Wake. That seems unlikely. Rest easy, buddy. Don't pet the pig. Don't make it weird. Hero doll. A wolf doll. Now yeah, we found some more dolls. Perfect. The Federal Bureau control documents. Test sites in Cauldron Lake. Two at the Witchfinder Station. One at Streamside. One at Cauldron. Interesting. I wonder what that's about. Since Saga won't turn the fucking page. Not quite sure. So I guess the Federal Bureau Control is staying here. Objective. Researching the reality-altering effects discovered at the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and manifesting the results into existence. The FPC's intent, oh, intent uh, into this research pro uh, project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions in which the writing become reality. The hypothesis is that two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but are not known to the latest creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events, out of which they serve for a source of their own inspiration. Or by the fiction itself being the instigating force in the present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme text in specific function, then use the depicted dolls and symbols needed via a careful testing process, with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving dolls, symbols and rhymes will be tested in order to collect a large amount of data. With the hope the pattern will appear, methods will be adjusted based on our test results. Alright, well... That's good news, at least. No goodies in the toilet. Fucking scam. Alright. Well, we got some more dolls. So we can test out, I think. Don't have the code for the computer, though. Bog bling. I like it. So this is the hero Brave and Strong left the woods to right or wrong. So the wolf's in the woods. The hero left the woods. So if we put the wolf on the woods. The hero turned home to find the things. 
So the hero returned home, I guess. Is it like... Hmm. I guess returned home using the boat? Yeah. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What is this? A dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. Oh, damn. Where's my anti-wolf rifle? Sorry, Wolof. I don't want a fucking merc in the sun. The Wolof ate the baby. Rip. Another charm for my bracelet. Do we have company? Cool. Oops. Saves you from death but shatters. Oh, interesting. So that's like a, a no shit charm. Okay. We well, won't we'll use that now, but might be good for a sort of tough section. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh, okay. So we've, the game sort of told me you can you can go. I guess. All right. Hey, Froggy. We were just checking out. Um, we were just checking out the wooded area that had previously been locked off to us. There was the other one over there. Do we think the game's giving us a hint that we should just come back later? It's all right so far, actually. Car batteries. Yeah, no trip. I know Chad's son. I don't like him though. Right, so what's the best way to get back then? That's the flooded area, I'm guessing. I guess we go down across the bridge and back round to the car again? Man, it's quite a long trip, but hey, off we go. I was a bit sad that uh, I didn't realise Chad was right there. <laughs> Gave me the rage. At least Saga can just like run for a bit. Unlike Alan, he can run for like three feet. Oh, there's a little thingy here. Today's catch a yellow perch and a mid sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out of towner walking around in the woods before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch just a rolled rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one ever noticed the quiet old fisherman, not even the fish. Fiskira. The atmosphere of this has been pretty top notch so far. Like, it's actually been, dare I say it, a little bit creepy. <laughs> I hope that wasn't someone's pet. That would have been a bit awkward. Get fucking perforated. Don't. Not poor puppy. It will eat me. Big puppy. Big angry, scary puppy. Look. Look what he did to this pig. He would do that to me, given the chance. Oh, it's an alligator. Oh, we're back at the uh, spooky tree. Which means we can go up. Oh, we can't go up this way anymore. Hmm. So how do we get back then? Am I being a bad? Can we go? Can we go around this now? Is that because of the flood? We, we can go this way. Yeah, I think we just go around. I'm assuming enemies don't respawn because ammo seems relatively limited. <coughs> Wolves ill uh, ill ought like buckshot arisen. Go. 
We don't well feed the wolf. Uh, the shortcut was over here, wasn't it? Over this way? Where was the shortcut? That way. That was the shortcut, right? I think. Yeah. Hey, pumpkin. How you doing? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We are currently just leaving the woodist. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Have they seen me? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Oh shit, it's not burned. It's better to come out of the woods. It's like there's Zombino, isn't it? Weird. Well, now there's less monsters. What's that? Shotgun ammo. Propane? Very fine. Painkillers. I wonder if we can just wing it until we get back to town. Yo, John. Here's a pretty, uh... Dang it, Bobby. That boy ain't right, I'll tell you what. Confused for these steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. So go to the sink, go to the fridge, and go to a bedroom? Oh, this is the sink, I guess. <sighs> is that supposed to be eight, do you think, or...? Let's have a look. So it'd be not a lot of health left. No, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to save it until I get uh, to a healing location. Uh, I feel moose. bad for these guys. Moose. I think we need some context. So let's go have a look at the thing and see what it wants us to actually do. Oh, okay. Then that's. So this was the up down, like that, right? And then this one was the hourglass, and the bed one was the left right, I think. Yeah, okay. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, you ain't stopping me, shitter. So where are we now, anyway? We're at the murder site. Murder, 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 change the fucking record. We had to report to our superior officers that we've just been binning the locals. Yeah, I can't read. You can't stop me, sign. If you pet all the day and you get a sign, that would be quite fun. I actually do like endings like that, Dudu. 
Not on first run throughs, like stupid fucking homecoming with its dog shit ideas. Utterly trash. But like um like an actual decent game. It's honkin'. We already read that thing, didn't we? Is it honking because it's spooky out here? Max Payne's gonna ask us what's wrong with our uh, what's wrong with our legs and stuff. Like, why aren't you healing up? I'm like, I don't wanna waste it. I'm near a lamp, like a moth. <laughs> hey, Wonder Girl, we're about um uh tonight. We've been streaming for about half an hour, give or take. Um. But we're, this is the second stream we're so about three hours into the game, I think. Ish. We're refusing to heal. So we can do this the... The kingly way. Which is just, you know, heal Ready naturally. To go? Yeah, man. Did I go into the FPC thing? Yeah, but it was just... Looked the same as Mr. before. Wake. Maybe I should we're have read the thing on the thing. Field office in Bright Falls. What? You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Man, the cutscenes are not having a good time with the whole like being delayed, are they? I didn't tap out. No. Hey, mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Oh, they say an altered way, the altered Are world event in progress. Ah, that makes sense. Um, okay. Dad, it's mom. I was about to say, I wonder if Jesse can Don't get out worry, of the um, oldest house yet. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. Can Alex no. Casey see the same things we can at the moment? I'm not sure he can, Just right? Just weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game what, victories tell me... What bright walls do you talking about, Axton? <laughs> control? <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. I did the control DLC on stream. Who's Dave? Dave likes blood orgies. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. Fuck my wife. It'll come for me. God damn it, Alice. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. What about his agent? Oh yeah, Barry. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble. It's kind of a surprise they haven't gone to a hospital. Like now a nightmare. It. it doesn't. To get him checked out. It doesn't make He's been sense. missing 13 years. You know. Lump. I remember. I remember. Hey, 
Hey, Sean. He wasn't sneering that much there, actually. It was a bit stressful. <laughs> Alan, Alan! In between we've missed the door. Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Welcome, welcome! We have a great show for you here tonight. Isn't this some of the DLC stuff, if I recall? Alan Wick, one of my all time favorite writers and guests on the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Hey, buddy. Oh! Oh! And as usual, our health man, <sighs> oh god, the bad guard is here. Oh, take it away, you crazy Vikings! I am a talk show tonight. Waking up in places with no memory of how I got there. It was a hard boiled diet. I didn't need another Not just eggs. fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Alan Bates, yeah. Welcome back to the show. So I'm redeeming points today. Come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. Woo! I'm sorry. Oh, man. Must have missed it on the old scroll. Do apologize. It's so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So it does. What well, which you voice do you want? That's the important thing. Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. Oh no, it's the old gods of Asgard. What are they doing here? <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. Does it? What? That's Nutty. exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? Oh, okay. No worries, one your uncle. Have you been watching the um a, the LP of the old Alan Wake stuff? Did you enjoy it? Wait. This isn't right. I I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, uh, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Oh yeah, isn't Alan's voice overdubbed, he isn't it? He's, he's dubbed because he his, um, his actor isn't the voice, is he? Uh, well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York. I didn't I didn't think his actor was the VA. I thought his actor was, um... Isn't he finished, dude? The by actor. His dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Both Alan and Casey speak very little exactly. I thought Sam Lake spoke pretty good English, didn't he? Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak. Oh no, we're getting quite meta. all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called 
Return, perhaps. <laughs> Alan's just looking like he shot himself Thank somewhat. He's like, strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. Always talk of meta narratives. You have to expect them to disappear once we see them. <laughs> the live action stuff's actually quite interesting. I, I, I like the way it sort of uh, seamlessly sort of fits in. It looks quite nice. Hello? Hello? Marvin? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Nah, I don't know about that. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This God felt like a dream. Could make a good horror story. It's alright so far, honestly, Froggy. Wake creates Scratch to live his life while he's fighting the darkness. But the darkness is taking control of Scratch and manipulated the way. Oh, interesting, okay. In between with Mr. Door. I mean, Mr. Door as well, you know? Can we... Shit. Jammed. The band room. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Six six five neighbor of the beast. Oh. Take control. That's um the song from well control right. Can't see that one very well. It's a bit too dark. Yeah, Matthew Matthew um, Porita was darling. Yeah, that was it, right? Yeah. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Oh look, there we go. That's that's the voice actor for Alan. Dr. Casper Darling. Children of the Elder Gods is my favourite song. I really like the um I really like the uh the main one from Alan Wake, I guess, the Lady of the Lamp one. Okay, we need to. I guess is it six six five? Yeah. It's the only number I saw. There was something here. A broken transmission. I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. It's interesting. It's not using. It's using a reflection, but not like a proper one. The looks of it. Maybe it's to save on memory. I don't know. Full ray tracing is on, but it's obviously not quite using it for the reflections. Well, I hope you enjoy this as well, one Uncle. Get to see it live. And the fact, I mean, the interesting thing is, obviously, I've played Alan Wake before, right? Got to Thirsties. I don't have the Thirsties for Lemu. I have the Thirsties for Dank Stank. Or Demon Seed. But mostly Dank Stank. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Uh oh. The Poe and the Muse, that's it, that's it. You don't have mirrors at all? Interesting. God damn it, Alan. This is the ritual to meet you all. Mirrors do so so. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. This is the cabin on Cauldron Lake, but... Well, I mean, in theory. <laughs> Lude. Lude? Hey, fella, thank you very much for the, uh, 69, the lewdest month. Thank you very, very much. Hug. Really appreciate it, Fella. It's always good to see you. Thank you very much. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. 
but other notes as well. I like it when there's a summary nice. story. It has been a while, you've been alright? I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Can I look plot board? The writer's room. Get back to writing. Part one, read me. Beware scratch, Alice. Wake up to nightmare. At the talk show I thought uh, I thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in the dark place. A nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. It was called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. I had to write more. Everything Dora had said felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? You must write to escape. I guess we get writing then. Just blah blah blah. I'm glad you're here, Feather, at the very least. And it's good to have you back. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room. Oh no. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. There's no this toilet in here. Boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Maybe he decided to write himself to look a bit more like, you know, older. He just sort of sort himself out a bit. <gasps> Can you imagine if Alan was like, wait, anything I write is reality? So Alan Wake started a harem with six extremely busty in the darkness, like, bop! Stop that! Ow! Fine. Back to morbid things. Oh, Sam Lake again. Is he going to do the face? Wait, this is the one from the first game. Or it was, anyway. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, hey, how Sam do you Luke. feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> I like how he does the face. He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh... <laughs> He What's did the, the face! Problem, Alan, Yay! Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well... In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this is so weird, isn't it? Martian Manhunter, really? It was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Ooh. Great murder case, Casey. Oh, he's quite excited. Isn't it? He's doing the face. And very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Yeah, Bruce has been good so far. Wait, Amazingly. Stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? 
Lamp. <gasps> Sam Lake playing Sam Lake is fun, yeah. I assume we uh, have another look around again? Or do we uh, try and find the same place again? We've already opened this door before, I guess. I don't know. I wonder if we need to go see if there's a different code now. We'll see if anything's different. Lewd. Do the fucking flashlight. You couldn't give himself a way out in the dark. Yeah, you have to follow the rules. It's now five six five. Now five six five, I guess. Nice. Man, I'm still so sad about Lance Reddick. I didn't know him from um, the show about drugs, shit, if it was called, um, about the gangs and drugs and stuff. The Wire. I never saw, really saw The Wire, but I saw him in um, uh, Fringe, and I loved him in that. I really, really liked Fringe. Pumpkin, there's no dank stank, I'm afraid. We checked earlier. They have the firsties, but it's all out, I'm afraid. I wonder if we can get further this time. I wonder if that's the sort of shtick here. We have more time to fondle the door. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Toilets? Delicious. These are fancy old bogs, aren't they? I actually liked Fringe. I never saw the very last season. I heard it went a bit, bit bum, but uh, I enjoyed everything else. Wait, what? What are you doing here? Ah, Lord Aid, there you are, Tom. Oh, what are you doing here? Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? He's beguiling. <laughs> Very fine. What the hell is this? Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> the verse. <laughs> What's in the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. Yeah, he's Finsk, <laughs> isn't he? Not Finsk. Same Finsk. as in the Lord's purse. Pish. Here's the key. Oh, thank you. Got the Janus's key. How much original story do you remember? A fair bit, because we played it pretty recently. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place, too? You remember Arti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So, don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. The Just faces look very natural, actually. Turn it's quite interesting. The lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. Pumpkin doesn't want any dank stank. That makes me it's sad. Not easy to get it's out. fine, Pumpkin. I'll have it all. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. Why listen to Janice, sir? Because he's an important man. The floor and look into the puddle. He helps out in another game. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Where's the basement then? We have the talk show map. Okay. 
backstage, the green room, the band room. Also, oh, that's so we've sort of worked our way around to the basement. Okay. Wait. Oh, right. Get. This is my room, isn't it? There we go. I've been in there, yeah. Oh, that's where I started, right. I mean, in control, I... I kind of believe that he, he seemed to be some sort of deity or something. He, he certainly knows more than he's letting on. That's 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 definitely for sure. There's a lamp over there. Oh god, it's so fucking dark. I kind of wish we'd have a lamp, or like a torch or something. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The You're right over there, pumpkin. Significant. A tool for bringing. It's not the cocker. I think it's new. He's personally hired by the board, yeah. And the board. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move lights. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The oh, bulb glowed. It held the light now. The hiss. So can I do it from out here? Quite cool, isn't it? It's a pretty gnarly way of doing things, I like it. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in Ooh. the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. The Harry Garrett show? Like an old an old studio uh, sign. Now I'm in here, can I change it back? Ooh. Was Harry now the move one? Was that, was that, is Harry the one that, that Alan appeared on the first time? That was a clip show, eh, uh, interesting. This is not just the same room as before. Oh, there's now stairs here? Interesting little mechanic, this. I needed to find another way out. Oh. Not this way, then. That's where I came from. Is that where I came from? Dumbledore has calmed me. I was thinking that, actually. Can we go over here this time? Oh, nice. 
The dark place wants to drown me. How lewd. I'm losing myself. I have to, to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The cocker. The light switch. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. Is it all the clitter? I'm trapped here. Yeah, we've we've I'm upgraded. Right to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. It does feel a bit but like I the Silent Hill sort of style, doesn't it? I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. Do we get new music? I haven't uploaded the VOD yet, so I'm not sure if we're going to get binned on YouTube for these yet. It's possible there will be binning to be occurred. It is pretty funky, isn't it? We probably will, yeah. Binning will immediately kill my YouTube channel. All that hard work down the drain. Blammo. That'll happen one day. It's almost guaranteed, right? One day we'll upload the VODs or something and there'll be like two or three in a row that will we'll catch something unpleasant and that'll be it. Yeah, the music on this has all been pretty, pretty solid so far. What, the YouTube channel, I mean? Yeah, I've still got it. I left I left all the YouTube stuff. Like, I, I put the VODs on it. I put the VODs on it and um, I leave all the old LPs up so people can just go back and watch them whenever they want. I don't have copies of a lot of the videos anymore. I've got some here and there, but... I definitely I like hearing the music on the uh, interludes. It's quite nice. Did I see Razio making chocolate? I did not actually. Is that because he's lost control of his life? Is that done? Guess so. I don't think so, though. I'll make a manual save as well since it's been a while. I always love watching back your old LPs, much nostalgia. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy them. Like, that's that's pretty much why I left the YouTube channel. Like, you know, like, I want people to go back and watch them whenever they want and have a bit of time, good time with it. The shoebox can store your items. Alan can access stored items from any shoebox in the dark place. What shoebox? Oh. I got no items to put in it yet. Obscure, obscure's a funny one. Oh wow, okay. We're in a city. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. The OD, the O diner, the OD diner. It's not the OD, the OD diner, right? Like from Bright Falls. Hello. The moon is a harsh mistress. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. Oh, I don't know if I I'll even can anymore, Vailas. I haven't got sure the same editing software anymore. <laughs> Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. 
I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? 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 Marvin! Hello. Alan's still got the rage. Insert this way up. I'll do what I want, you ain't my mum. Yeah, I think the present's been stolen around a little bit. Caldara Street Station, because the lake's in the Caldara, yeah. So this is all just built off of stuff, right? The man had said Caldara Street Station. I had to go there. Like, all this is basically built off of what, uh, what Alan's around at the moment, right? I guess. So we need to look for the train station. Neighborhood illumination. You lost her. AWE, Alter World Event. Initiation of that book, Cult of the Word. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. It's Max Payne. Looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. Murders? A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. Wait, is he still got slow mo powers to them? I think they are doing a remake of Ma Max Payne 1, aren't they? Or a remaster of it. Casey! Lost. I like all the graffiti. I remember dying in this alley. In a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Oh neat. A flashlight. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I could use it to make my way deeper. It's gone. I assume Rockstar are cooking up GTA 6, I'm, I'm, I would be guessing. This is misery. Wait, are we gonna get our legs broken or ankles broken? Do you think? Shit! With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. Wait. 
So I, I'm looping around. Yeah, Red Dead Red, 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 Red Redemption is Rockstar, yeah. I guess now I can go this way. Ratties! didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Got it. Yeah, we should try and look at every piece of graffiti. Seems to be quite relevant, doesn't it? Cold Casey. It's a cold day in hell. Return. Return scratch. You die here. We're never out of your way. The Ocean View Hotel. Interesting. Wasn't it a motel before? The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe Night Springs. I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. I want to go to the, motion, the uh, Ocean View Hotel. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. How do you feel about the combat? It's much better. But it, to be fair, it couldn't have been much worse. I was talking to Kleiker about the uh, combat, actually. Sorry, let me just pull. I just need to stretch a second. Um, I was talking to Kleiker about the combat earlier. And, like, the combat in Alan Wake 1 is just nothing, Burger. Like, there's just nothing to it. There's just absolutely nothing to it at all. Like, you just point light at man. Like, you don't even need to, like, hold down the light on it. You just hover area and then just shoot and it's done. Like, it, there's no real thought to it. It's just point, shoot, done. Like, there's no real, real strategy to it. Uh, later on, you get the flashbangs. Enemies spawn in. You just immediately drop the flashbang. Half of them are dead. Boosh. So, you know, it's, um... not. It wasn't particularly effective. I kind of want to have a look around before we go down there. I don't know if this is, I don't know if we're gonna get bent by shadows we go. Don't write return. Night springs. You need help, good luck. Light will show you the way. There's a dark cloud hanging over your head. Yeah, the flashlight's different in this one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no worries, I'm being a little bit careful. Don't wanna, wanna waste my, my juice. Very good looking game, graphically. Very impressive. Wait, Mr. Scratch, what are you doing here? Aren't you the cause of all this? Well, the flashlight in one, you just hover over the enemies. Where in this one, you have to like power. You have to do like the power beam essentially immediately. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. Okay, do I need to go back out to find another light to come back in? I guess so. Unless I can take the one from above now and uh, nick that one. I assume not, though. So we need to find ourselves another light somewhere? There's one over there, but I don't think we can get to that. Can we get- we can't go up there, no. Here's a light. Can we use this? Oh no, we can grant a light to this to go up, up. I 
I needed to find a way around that fence. So I guess what we could do is take the light from the um take a light take that light over there. Use it to power up the fence one. Try that, I guess. go up here and round maybe, then we can use both of them to get into the subway. Don't write. Do I want me? Yeah, my mum. Find Alice, that graffiti said. Goodies, yo. Oh, that's another way up, which is fine, but I want to have a look around just in case. Wait, right here. Well, this goes down. Interesting. So there's a ladder that goes up as well. A little bit of exploring we can do here. More shoe boxes. Oh, how many? How many slots do I actually have? I just realised I got three. I got plenty of room. Oh, some coffee does sound good. That telling us to go up this way to get some goodies potentially. There was something hidden here. A phrase repeated over and over. A word of power. resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Words of the lamp. Oh, interesting. Okay. Resolve it for each second with a hospital using a flashlight boost. Flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Interesting. Oh, do I have to get all three to actually unlock the thing, I wonder? I feel the HP one could be kind of useful. Oh no, it just buffs them. No, it's just it's flat out. Just That's what you get. Okay. Oh, we saw this one, didn't we, I think? Lost. <laughs> Bullets, bodies, and bourbon. Worst, worst Casey. Oh, Jesus. Through this, on this side. There we go. Level drop actually not quite making sense. Yeah, a little bit unnatural, yeah. Right, so, what I can do now, I can power up the subway entrance and then take one with me down. There we go. Alan versus poor people on the commute. He's a bit of a hater in the Alan. Here we go. This 
This has been so much more subdued and so much more patient than the first game. Like they've, I think they learned a lot with control, for sure. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Beep. They learned control, eh? Hey there, please pay the fare. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered Looper here. Looper Express to Mirror Heights, except late nights. An echo. Late nights, you end here. Dark Avenue, Downtown Vibe Bridge. I like all the little, like, th interesting things to note. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. An FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. The plot board? I had a location. I had a story thread. A limited place crossing the threshold. Them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. Interesting. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels you drew was no dick ball the map, yeah. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. Wake. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. How can you tell if any of these are gribblers or not? I guess if they got if they got like a weapon on them, isn't it? Just the blood trail here. Yeah. I think if Alan's lucky, he'll end up in the Federal Bureau of Control. They don't seem like bad people, the FBC. To be fair, they, they all seem alright. But then again, we saw it from the point of view of the director, didn't we? <gasps> I don't like the sound of that. It's just ye old gribbler. It's probably fine. Oh, I guess we should do a proper save. 20 minutes ago. Okay. I like it tells you how long ago that save was. That's a nice touch. Put next to Jesse's brother, yeah. They can't do what needs to be done, I guess. In Resi Revolution 1, you mean what with the city? That wasn't them, was it? <laughs> A word of aid found. Alright, what can we do with this then? Hand flare effects by 13%. Effectiveness of trauma pads by 10. Yeah, trauma pad sounds like a useful one. Oop. Revelation 1 was the cruise ship one, yeah. Not this way, I guess. Go into the train. Is this 
the way we need to go, I guess, but we can't proceed at the moment anyway. Can't jump over the fencing? Not like I can see. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem, doesn't let you, no. That's video game rules for you don't supposed to go this way. Yeah, lots of graffiti says find Alice in particular, yeah. I'll take it we can't go any further this way. That looks like a no to me. No, I can't use the lamp at the moment, no. It just still says follow the blood trail. So I need to look on the floor, I guess. It's here, but how do we get through here? Can I go this way and round? Some way onto the train? Ah! Sorry. I must have missed just the train bit there. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. I can steal light down here. Oh no, I can grant light down here. If I haven't got any charges. There's some light there we can nick. Another place tunnel. to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. You found a new scene. Alright, we can rewrite it. No idea for a scene. Missing FBI agent. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap, a satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. Goddamn cults. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Who, me? Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Does sound a little bit sussy backer, doesn't it? I think we need to go suck off the light over there. Are they in here? Not getting any Duracells this time. Boo. Decent amount of swag. I think we go take the light and then go back. That lets Another me echo lingered here. Oh, I can't. A source of inspiration. So I can't take that with me, I guess. Unless I can do it from here? No. Okay. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. Really? They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was just yeah, they are on it, Pumpkin. I like it a lot. In the story this way, but I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. The flashlight can be turned on and off with full stop. No. I'm guessing it's unbound. I had a new beat for the story. The murder cult. 
Oh, I actually see. I can go back and write it back in. Okay. Alright, what's up here anyway? It's E. Disturbing. Been coming down here. I think we had to to come back to the collapsed tunnel. I thought it'd let me F on this one. Huh? I can rewrite this. Or should we go back and check out the other door? Shadow Man bidding you if you're getting too close. You could be that, yeah. We've got to keep our distance a bit, perhaps. Completely empty? Boo! Yay! Go up here. I got us another map. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Yeah, maybe it's one of those dynamic things, yeah, if, you, if you're, like, lower, you find some more swag, yeah. Sounds like Artie's around here. So it goes up, or it goes along? Station the plan. Hello? Oh. Hey, Alan. Oh, it's Snuck detective. Up on me. Sorry, have we met? It's Bobby from X-Men. problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the I could light. I could have found this guy earlier, oh, really? But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Orlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. Oh, from that other ladder. many disguises, okay. but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. I was, about, I was at the morgue. I was about to give evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Who, where, why, motive, why me? The red-headed woman? Me, but not me. Others I know, yet they're different. Missing time, no memory. Abducted. Aliens? UFO? Until now, I've always ended up door, or, always ended up or door up here. Will I forget when I get out? Polyhedrons. Jesse? Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be Jesse, right? The red-headed woman? Another map of the subway. I kind of hope Jesse makes an appearance in this. That'd be kind of fun. It's 
scam. Yeah, this is Bo this is Bobby from X Men. Gotta go get your uh, your dudes right. Gotta get your dudes. Be around, Alan. I'm never quite sure if that's the tear of bodies he's got. Oh, rude. Oh, the Bobbis. I always think of Bobby, I think of the really funny YouTube channel, Bobby Fingers. There we go. Man does like little dioramas of like scenes. No, no, like it's a, it's a dude who does like dioramas of scenes. Like he did a di he did like a really detailed diorama of like um, Steven Seagal shitting himself when he got choked out, or when Michael Jackson's hair got caught on fire, and like they are ridiculously detailed, like absurd levels of like detailed. It's really funny. Just Bobby Fingers. Help, good luck. Thanks, man. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. Rewrite the deeper to continue the cult's trail. Okay. No worries, Vicky. The time lapse? What do you mean, time lapse thing? Sorry. The new scene I have found was important for the story. The scene and plot beat made sense together. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Spooky. The idea of like rewriting reality, I wonder if that's kind of what they want to do with Alan Wake 1 in a way. Like as you go along, like it, you know, he rewrites what's happening. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cult has tracked down the torch. This is that American Nightmare. The they did a little bit with the end of Alan Wake's so well. subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. So I can possibly get rid of the train then. Deputy Mulligan turned tuned Thornton's chatter out. I didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one seemed idiotic, especially what not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done except run in front of the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience. That was from the first game. Okay, so it this was one locked right. from the other side. So this is where we would beat fit the story perfectly. A sick and twisted story. But it worked. The 
the subway car had become a burnt hut. I could get through it now. That's the one thing I'm not keen on. Like, why are you trying to ruin your tension with, like, stupid loud noises? Like, stop it. You're just, you're just sort of blowing all the tension you've got, you're making out of the water. It's silly. Because now you're not going to be, like, worried about anything, or, like, bothered, because you just had a loud jump scare noise. None of this was real. It was all real. I can't believe Alan burned all these people. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was uh, one of the train scenes in Cry of Fear. Though, to be fair, that could be a fair whack of Cry of Fear because it's so fucking dog shit. Down we go. The fear! I know, I know, Jen. How, how else would we know be scared? Alan, I mean, this is, I'd say this is doing pretty damn well so far, honestly, but, like... Oh, so we got to do it from above. Or we do it from here? No, we do it from above, for sure, I think. Look down through the mesh. Someone did, in fact, claim it was a mass piece of horror, didn't they? I disagree. Am I wrong? Was it not from above? Guess not. <laughs> Feels like it should be from above. But no, I guess not. Maybe the arrow's just weird. Oosh. Down to the platform. Quick. Increases maximum health. Amount of health restored by seven. Resolve fifteen to max health when a new word of power is discovered. Wheels and mills, that's kinda cute. I think just flat out maximum health might just be quite useful. Oops. Yeah, more Night Springs stuff. I like Night Springs, but it's no Mr. Uh, Mr. Bones, is it? Mr. Bones who dislikes interruptions. The Don't Scream game? No, I haven't actually. The environment graphics are great, but the mic feature is a gimmick, and the scares are entirely made out of bog sound jump scares. I feel the jump scares are pretty much the the lowest form of like horror you can get. If not to say they don't have a time and a place, right? Like, not at all. Because there is a time and a place for jump scares sometimes. They, they really can add to a, a very unsettling scene by a quick, sharp, short burst of nasty. But, like, if done wrong, it's just like a fucking clown show. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Hunted. Quaffy. It's the quaffy room. I've talked about it before, um, I've talked about it before, but I think one of the most effective and good jump scares, and like possibly brutal jump scares, is the one from um, Eternal Darkness. 
the game which traditionally doesn't really have any jump scares. I think that is an extremely good uh, hunted. Are we going to have something following us by any chance? Does that open up another path this way? Is that what that does? Work? Yeah, I think it does. Doors open. Oh, it's here. I was it's kind of I guess it looped around, it's a bit weird to work out. Find inspiration. Mm, inspiring murder. Night Springs Avenue, <laughs> cute. Fucking pitch black down there. I'm guessing that's not the right way. Hereditary has some really good ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Hereditary is just amazing. Full stop, right? Upstairs. What do you want? Random bloodsuckers. Bloodsuckers are fantastic at doing like natural jump scares. I'm guessing these guys don't grow believe even if you get close. I wasn't quite sure if you would or not. I think you have to look at the app like a pipe or something. End the of the line. Hall had a story to tell. Yeah, do you remember how we were talking about the Alan Wake rem uh, remaster? And we were like, imagine how creepy it'd be if the like un like unnatural babble they make was done in a suspenseful way. And this actually feels exactly like what that would be. Where are we now? Oh, we're here. But the Shrine Street Station, the end of the line. There's a there's a light shift here, is there? Can I nick this then? This is active. We've nicked the light, but I can't see what we've done with that. There's one down that way. Can we get over there? Or is that above us somewhere? In there, maybe? Go through the train car? Powered on the train car? Oh yeah, right there. Word of gun? Pew pew. Force back of shotgun. 5% chance not consume. 5% isn't a lot, but I'm guessing you go 5, 10, 15, which 15 isn't terrible. I haven't got a shotgun yet. Knockback could be handy to get people away from me. 5% is 5%. Obviously, like, it's not terrible. You're right, we'd have to shoot Mr. We have to show Mr. Shotgun some love, you're right. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, this is the way we literally just came from. Mr. Shogun is an old, old friend. Alright, what can I do with this end of the line then? Scene to use. A new setting. It's like the missing FBI agent, I guess. Follow the blood trail. I guess we change it again and see what we can do next. They all have different scenes. Yeah. The scene had changed. I kind of like this. This is a, this is really neat. Like we're doing it. Go Neo. This one doesn't seem to have a uptown. Is this weak? That's nothing. Doesn't look like it. I guess we try the last one, see what the changes. Bruce was a fine lad though. Even if he took Mr. Shotgun like a champ. This game justify and played or play the, the first one. Chains into the murder cult's hideout. Mm, don't know about that one. The Fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning we call the dogs in Penumbra? I don't know actually. Do we have a special name for the dogs? It was, I thought about it. Mr. Satan, wasn't it? Mr. Satan? Mr. Satan? The cult was that? messing with things no one should mess with. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Satan. Yeah. The ritual was a vital part of the story. The key to reaching the murder site. Is that Director Trench? Well, it's the same voice actor, but it's not, it's not, it's not actually, it's not Trench. The cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. So there's, uh, most of the words are cut out. <laughs> Lewd. Hey, right up. Thank you very much for the 19. Thank you very, very much. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate the resubs. Always lovely. Thank you. The writer, not as the last, the shadows cast. Third eye, protect the night. This is your time when you're gone. Right to the first word, not the last in the shadow. Eye open. This is your time. Ritual, friend will meet. Not the writer, the light, the shadow. To write, to lead, to meet. So I guess we can change the scene once more and use. I have a new idea. A new story ritual. thread. Seems legit. So that's blocked off that way, so we can head back the way we came, I guess? Give the old bit of matter. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, Wait. The multiple bin people. Oh, 
Damn, I haven't really worked out which one to save on yet. They definitely got the atmosphere a bit more nailed, I think. Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. How do we complete the ritual, I wonder? Back on myself here. Hmm. Oh, we can get this way. We can do that before anything. Ever felt lost, confused, stuck in a loop? It's time to wake up. The combat in this one's not as bad as the first. I think it's um, it's still fundamentally Wait. relatively simplistic, but it's better for sure. No. Oh, he can't follow me in. Interesting. Oh no, we good. Shit. Just vanished. Sorry, I, I asked list. We found a word of action. Increases damage to uh, enemies in close spots to ten percent. Never there, twenty percent harder to enemies. Dart projectiles. No, they just do more damage when they're close. I feel they're gonna be close a relatively large amount of the time. Should probably heal at this point. Oops. <laughs> to the upper platform. And what's over here? Is this supposed to be out? I wonder. There. Oh, I wonder what happens if you run out of batteries. Does it slowly recharge? Or you. Yeah, it, it, it must do, right? It must do. Need to do it from over here, maybe. Do it from that angle there behind us? There. Weren't the only, turns out the cultists weren't the only ones using the tunnel. Do you get crosshairs? Yes. Hidden graffiti signs mark secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels. The I feel their best combat society. so far has been control. Mystic I think all their other games have been a bit wonky for combat. Knowledge. Typical New York. New York. Wake. It's hard for me to tell which shadows are aggressive. I need to work on that a bit better. Jurassic Park throwing Alan! Alan! <sighs> Coffee. 
I am probably going to do a natural sort of stop here, I think. Because i got some things I need to do before work tomorrow. So we'll probably park it here. I think this is pretty decent. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Like, I think it's much, much better. It's not perfect, mind you. But it's, it's much, much better than what I was expecting. Considering it's got Alan Wake in the title. Like, I, I with ni no hyperbole, I genuinely, genuinely think Alan Wake 1 is, like... Like, a, like a, just a bad game, flat out. Like, just very little interesting things about it. Whereas this has actually been pretty good so far. The live action bits have been really solid as well, yeah. I think just overall, just very, very solid. It's been good stuff. It's been good stuff indeed. Alright, let's raid. Who can we raid? Rufus doing zombies. Let's raid Rufus today. For zombie pur village purposes. Isn't Robin Williams' character named Jim uh, Alan? I think they might, they might be, actually. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've had a lovely Alan Wake-related stream. And I will see you all tomorrow for... I don't know if we'll do some more Stalker or something. Right. Cheers, everyone. Catch you later. And I'll see you again soon. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Peace. Well, now you're free. Yeah, really. Let's see. Oh, Ty,